Good morning. Welcome this morning to prayers that light our path on this really, really cold Tuesday morning. As I was coming into the church, I really thought I was coming into the freezer when I got into the, the pastor's study. There's a verse that I think is important for us during this time of Christmas, during this time of Advent. And that verse comes from Matthew 25, 14. And that verse says, The greatest among you will be your servant. Servanthood. That's a pretty encompassing word, really. Sometimes we forget that just the little things are our greatest deed in the provision of servanthood as children of God. Just calling someone else and seeing how they're doing. Maybe taken by a loaf of bread to someone who is shut in or a gallon of milk. Or just running by real quickly and saying, hey, I was just thinking about you. Things happen, accidents happen all the time. It was brought close to home last night when a person very dear for me was just out delivering food and fell and had difficulty getting up. There was fear. Sometimes when we live alone, we have that same fear that something's going to happen to us and no one's going to know or no one's going to check on me. Servanthood is an encompassing word that really and truly means kindness. It means service to others. It means service to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So as we go through our days, let's remember those who maybe don't have the same benefit that we do, those who are quarantined because of this COVID virus, those whose family may be ill, those who are suffering other infirmities that we just really don't know about. Check on your neighbors, check on your friends, check on those in our neighborhood that maybe need us and would brighten their day just for a minute for us to knock on the door and say, hey, how are you? I love you. God loves you. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, it's hard to think of greatness in servanthood. Our world doesn't really think that way and breaking out of the mold takes effort. Even in church sometimes, Lord, we have a hard time seeing greatness as a matter of things being done for others. Help us to change our thinking, Jesus, and help, help us model the lifestyle that you want every Christian to have. Instead of seeking personal fame or self-importance, help us to help others to aid them in drawing closer to you. When other people see our actions, they want to emulate those so that others can see you even in them. Father, help us become your servants in every way. Then we'll have only greatness worth having we will be distinguished in your eyes. Father, thank you for the opportunity to serve you and to have the love that you give to us in return. You're a wonderful, loving, gracious, and merciful God. Thank you for your blessing. Be with all those today who are lonely. 
who are sick, who are quarantined in their homes. Be with them. Let them know your greatness as they serve you with servanthood and gratefulness. Thank you, Jesus. In your name this morning we pray. Amen. Reach out to someone today. Let them see Jesus through your actions. Let them see greatness through your servanthood. When you go to bed tonight, if you will just do that, there will be such a feeling of warmth and happiness and joy knowing that you have given hope to others. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, and happy day. Always remember that God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. Be safe.